Julie Gerling, MEP, you're calling for action on the mistreatment of horses. Why is this needed? Uh, well, horses are our oldest companions. We've had thousands of years of relationship with them. And we use them for a myriad of things. Working, they haul logs in forests in Sweden. They haul tourists on Santorini in Greece. So all kinds of things uh, and their companion animals, their therapy animals, their racing, their, their, their sports animals earning hundreds of thousands of pounds in big show jumping competitions. So they have a huge amount of different uses and the, the, we have no species specific legislation really protecting their health and well-being. So what I'm calling for is let's take another look. I'm not saying do X, Y or Z on the legislation but we ought to make sure that all of our regulations are fit for purpose. And is there legislation out there at the moment that is specific to the equine sector? No, not really. Uh, there, there are some guidance but mostly they're covered by general animal welfare law. And one of the issues that we associate with animals and with, with the EU and animals is the issue of transportation. We've seen a lot of work being done on cattle, pigs, chickens. What are the issues that face horses? Well, horses have very specific issues. They're herd animals. Um, they need to be separated during transport to a certain extent. Uh, so they kick, they push. Uh, they don't want to be jostled on, onto trailers. They really need very specific treatment. And in fact, EFSA did a report in 2012 that came up with some very specific recommendations for horses, none of which have been put in place. So EFSA, the European Food and Safety Agency itself. Yes. Penalties, do you think it's necessary to raise the penalties when people do, are found to mistreat horses? Uh, well, I believe, and this is what the report says, is that that's up to member states. I don't believe that we need a Europe-wide penalty system. We do on transport because by definition that moves from one member state to another. But from the way in which horses are, are treated within a member state should be subject to the penalties within that member state. And yes, for the record, personally, I believe that in many cases they're not high enough. But that, that is a personal view and this report doesn't necessarily call for more punitive. It calls rather the other end. Let's, let's do it by pulling. Let's make sure that people have all the information that they need so that they understand the needs of an equid. And the needs, it's very often that uh, it, it, there are lots of psychological things you can do with horses that make them just feel so much better. That you don't, it, you don't have to do anything particularly clever it's, or particularly expensive. It's just treating them in a species appropriate way.